Yes, you're going to have to make some pizza and stay in if Beryl heads our way. Yes, but uh, keep in mind that, uh, you know, if Beryl does head this way, electricity may be at a premium. Mm -hmm. Unless you Cold have a, pizza. Or a gas-fired pizza oven. All right, take a look and see what you've got there. Uh, you've got a tropical forecast right off the bat because that, of course, is the lead to this weather story as we take a look at Beryl. Earl, I don't, you know, I'm going to be beside myself trying to figure out which way I want to pronounce that. Uh, let's go Burl. Okay. My grandfather was named Merle. It's Burl. Sounds kind of the same. Uh, anyway, you've got yourself the valley way over here, and then you've got Burl way over here in the Caribbean, uh, south of the Dominican Republic, making a beeline for Jamaica, unfortunately. Winds of 155. That means it's a Category 4. It was a 5, now it's down to a 4, but <laughs> it, when it was a 5, it winds up 160. So we're really splitting hairs here. It is a powerful storm, well-defined, moving to the west. As it moves west of Jamaica, it will encounter uh, hostile conditions, uh, upper-level conditions that just don't, you know, aren't conducive to good growth. So it'll go down to a two, then go down to a one, slam into the Yucatan. The Yucatan is very unfriendly to hurricanes. It will beat it up pretty well and leave it as a tropical storm by Friday afternoon. And then it spits out over the southwestern Gulf of Mexico as a tropical storm, makes its way on toward northeast Mexico's coast, just south of the valley, or maybe the valley, or maybe down around Tampico. A lot of maybes this far out, because that's a long way out for the forecast both for direction, track, and for intensity, strength. So we're going to have to wait a couple of days to see how it pans out. Typically, once the uh, storm gets over the Yucatan, then we really are able to nail it down. But uh, this is the general path, and this is the way the computer forecast solutions have been trending, is to go over the Yucatan and then out. Uh, some breaking off by Friday and taking it uh, toward uh, Louisiana. Don't think that's going to happen. Uh, anyway, they stay pretty tightly bundled, but anywhere from north of Tampico on to Corpus Christi for Sunday morning, a tropical storm or a Category 1 hurricane. Tropical storm would be 39 to 73 miles an hour. Hurricane, 74 to 95 miles an hour. Uh, but if it was a hurricane, it would be much closer to the 74. So that's what we're thinking anyway. But again, that's a long ways out. And uh, intensity forecasting is a, it's a real, it's a tough one. There's no doubt about it. Uh, here's a good thing. This is a great thing. Uh, water temperatures are warm, but not super hot. And really hot water, if this was 87 to 89 degrees, I'd be really worried. But fortunately, it's like 83 degrees, and that means that might help to prevent Burl from becoming or blowing up back into a major hurricane. That's what we want. We need help and uh, we'll take it any way we can get it. Uh, the next little system out in the Atlantic has a 20% chance of becoming something more, way down from what it was before, heading on to walk in the footsteps of Burl. And obviously Burl has left a much depleted uh, environment for development in its wake. 77 tonight, uh, mostly clear skies, southeast wind five to 10 miles an hour, heading out the door in the morning. You could expect temperatures to be around 80 degrees by 7 a.m., 82 degrees by 8 a.m., 93 to 97 from noon to 3 o'clock. Southeast winds and sunshine going to make it another hot, humid day. The heat index up around 110. And as far as 4th of July, head off to the island. Why not? Beautiful conditions, 89 air temperature, 86 surf temperature. But it's going to feel like the air is going to feel like 100 degrees. And if you can do that little dance on the uh, beach and then uh, get that to me, I'd love to see that. And put it on the air. Our air quality, speaking of air, air quality is going to be diminished the rest of the week due to the dust blowing off Africa. And the weekend forecast is clear cut that we're potentially going to see a wet, windy, nasty Sunday if Burl takes that path, we think it will, anywhere near the valley, especially south. If it goes in south, just south of us, we will get the dirty part of the storm. That's what it's called, the dirty part. And that would be a lot of wind and a lot of rain. Just a lot of what ifs and predictions. So yeah, it's far. so far out. That, yeah. You can always stick with Brian on valleycentral.com and the That's Valley right. Storm Team app. But for now, we're going to take a quick break. We'll have more headlines after this.